What if you could turn this into this? It's called check washing. All it takes is household chemicals and your stolen check. Two or three people had just putting out mail, came outside, and it was gone, and the postman hadn't been by yet. A few months ago, Dennis Wofford and his neighbors realized thieves were stealing mail on their street. He found the crumpled remains of letters in the gutter. So then we got, we started getting a clue in on what's going on, you know, people were coming around stealing our mail. So why do criminals want your mail? One reason, your envelopes could include checks you're mailing out to pay your bills. They know what times the postman comes through most neighborhoods, and they'll come, you know, right after that time. Detective Matt Hamilton works on check fraud cases for the Fresno County Sheriff's Department. He says it's a major source of income for drug users. I think that it's easy money. So just how easy is it to wash a check? We put three checks to the test using a common chemical available at any hardware store. One check written in blue ballpoint pen, another in green marker, and the third in red ink from this pen that promises to fight check fraud. In less than five minutes, the ballpoint pen is almost completely gone. We're able to write on a blank check. The marker and the specially designed pen survive the wash. But beyond using a better pen, there are other ways to protect your checks. If you put your outgoing mail here in your mailbox and then flip up the flag, it's like a signal to criminals that they should check your house to see if there's any mail they can steal. A lot of times they won't find out about it until, you know, weeks down the road when that check and that bill didn't get paid. And then they do their research, they look into it, and they find out that the check never got there. Another good tip, switch to a locking mailbox so only you and your mailman have access. Dennis Wofford has already done that. Everybody has to stay on their toes and watch what goes on around their neighborhood. So far, the thieves haven't returned to his block, but he's keeping an eye on his mail before scammers can say, check please. In Fresno, Katherine Davis, CBS 47, on your side.